Hello everyone. Welcome to new class. Today's class is about the measurement of power. For measuring the total power supplied to a three phase load, the following methods are applied. The three watt meter method, the two watt meter method and the one watt meter method. Of these methods, the two watt meter method is widely adopted in practice. Let us study the three methods in detail. First one, the three watt meter method. So here, this method makes use of three watt meters, one included in each phase. The electrical connections are as shown in the figure. Let W1, W2 and W3 be the watt meter readings. Then the total power will be equal to W1 plus W2 plus W3. Next method is the 2 watt meter method. Power in a three phase system with balanced or unbalanced load can be measured by using two watt meters. The algebraic sum of the two watt meters readily gives the three phase power. And it can be proved as follows Consider a three phase star connected balanced load supplied from a three phase supply system let two watt meters w1 and w2 are used to measure the power supplied to the load let ir iy and ib be the rms values of the currents in the lines let vry vbr vby be the voltages across the lines The wattmeter has one current coil and a pressure coil. So here the two wattmeters are connected like this. So we can draw the phasor diagram like this. That is the first wattmeter is across R and Y. So this is the resultant voltage and the second wattmeter is across V, uh, B and Y. So, we can draw the resultant of B and Y like this. Because there is a connection between, connection in the uh, Y line. So, we can draw the phasor diagram like this. Current through the current coil of watt meter W1 is IR. Voltage across the pressure coil of wattmeter W1 is VRY. Similarly, the current through the current coil of wattmeter W2 is IB. And voltage across the pressure coil of wattmeter W2 is VBY. Here VR, VY and VB are at 120 degree apart. Similarly, IR, IY and IB are at an angle phi from the phase voltages. So, the resultant of VR and VY is VRY and resultant of VB and VY is VBY. And here, the phase difference between IR and VRY, IR and VRY is 30 plus 5. Similarly, the phase difference between IB, IB and VBY, IB and VBY is, this is 30 degree. So, 
30 minus 5. This is 30 minus 5. So, the reading of watt meter W1 will be equal to IR into VRY into cos 30 plus 5 where IR is equal to IL, the line, volt, line current. VRY is the line voltage that is IL VL into cos 30 plus 5. Similarly, the reading of watt meter W2 is equal to IB into VBY into cos 30 minus 5. That is equal to IL VL into cos 30 minus 5. We can prove that the algebraic sum of the two watt meters gives the three phase power. For that W1 plus W2 is equal to VLIL cos 30 plus 5 plus W2 is VLIL cos 30 minus 5. Taking VL into IL outside, cos 30 plus 5 plus cos 30 minus 5. And cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. And cos A minus B is cos A cos B plus sin A sin B. In that manner, we can write cos 30 into cos 5 minus sin 30 into sin 5 plus cos 30 into cos 5 plus sin 30 into sin 5 and solving this we get 2 cos 30 into cos 5 because here sin 30 into sin 5 is cancelled and we get VLIL into 2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so W1 plus W2 is equal to root 3 VLIL cos 5. That is the total power input to a balanced load. That is the sum of the reading indicated by the two watt meters is equal to the total power drawn by a three phase balanced load. Now to find the angle phi W1 minus W2 is equal to VLIL sin phi. In this method, that is, when W1 minus W2 is taken, this cos 30 plus 5 will, cos 30 into cos 5 will be cancelled. And we will get sin 5. Now, divide W1 minus W2 by W1 plus W2 and we get VLIL sin phi divided by root 3 VLIL cos phi that is equal to 1 by root 3 tan phi from this we can write tan phi is equal to root 3 into W1 minus W2 divided by W1 plus W2 and from this we can find the power factor power factor is equal to cos phi that is equal to cos of phi is tan inverse of root 3 into w1 minus w2 divided by w1 plus w2 Next is effect of power factor on watt meter readings. This is the very very important portion from this part that is from the 2 watt meter method. We have W1 equal to VLIL cos 30 plus 5 and W2 equal to VLIL cos 30 minus 5. The first condition is when power factor is equal to 1, that is equal to unity, then phi will be equal to 0. So, the both watt meters will indicate the same readings. That is when phi is equal to 0, here cos 30. 
here also cos 30 so w1 equal to vlil cos 30 and w2 equal to vlil cos 30 so both wattmeters indicate the same readings when power factor is unity the second condition is when power factor is equal to 0.5 when power factor is equal to 0.5 5 will be equal to 60 degree so put 5 equal to 60 degree in this both equations that is cos 30 plus 60 that is cos 90 cos 90 is equal to 0 so w1 will be equal to 0 and here cos 30 minus 60 is cos minus 30 cos minus 30 is cos 30 so w2 will be equal to vlil cos 30 that is w2 is positive and measures the entire three phase power so when the power factor is equal to 0.5 w1 that is one watt meter will be equal to zero the other watt meter gives the positive value and it measures the entire three phase power the third condition is when the power factor is equal to zero when power factor is equal to zero phi will be equal to 90 degree put phi equal to 90 degree in these equations that is VLIL cos 30 plus 90. Cos 30 plus 90 is minus sin 30. That is W1 will be equal to minus VLIL sin 30. And here cos 30 minus 90 is cos minus 60. That is cos 60. So, W2 will be equal to VLIL cos 60. That is, we can write minus W1 equal to W2. Here, the magnitude or the readings are equal but are of opposite signs. So, when the power factor is equal to 0, the two readings are equal but opposite signs and we can write w1 plus w2 equal to 0 the fourth condition is when the power factor is less than 0.5 but greater than 0 that is angle phi is between 60 degree and 90 degree so in that case W1 and W2 have different readings and opposite signs. So, it is necessary to reverse the connections to either the current or pressure coil in order to measure the power registered by wattmeter W1 or W2, which is reading negative. If wattmeter W1 is negative, then we should reverse the connections of the current or pressure coil of the wattmeter W1. If the wattmeter W2 is reading negative, then we have to change the connections of either the current coil or pressure coil of the wattmeter W2. However, the readings thus obtained must be taken as negative while calculating the total power and the power factor so when the phi is between 60 degree and 90 degree w1 will be equal to vlil cos 30 plus phi and w2 will be equal to minus vlil cos Sorry, here W1 will be minus, this one will be positive, minus 5. So, in this case, we have to reverse the 
connections of the pressure coil or current coil of wattmeter W1. The third method is the 1 wattmeter method. This is the modified version of the 2 wattmeter method. This method uses only 1 wattmeter. The current coil of the wattmeter is in series with one of the lines. There is a changeover switch S. And this will be 1. This is 2. So, when the switch is thrown to position 1, it puts the pressure coil of wattmeter between the lines R and Y. Then, one reading W1 is taken. Next, the switch is thrown to position 2. Then, the pressure coil is now between the lines R and B. Now the second reading W2 is taken. Then the total power will be equal to W1 plus W2. So these are the three wattmeter methods for measuring the three phase power. Thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes, please like, share with your friends and subscribe for more classes.